how I got started in wrestling was, uh, you know, I was like 30. I'm 36 now. So six years ago, I'm like, I got to do something. I loved wrestling so much that, um, you know, I was out of shape. I'm still out of shape. I figured, well, I can't wrestle, but I can be a manager because I can talk like crazy. Quit! 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 And for the last six years, I've been doing wrestling as the big swag, this crazy nutty manager. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's, it, I don't make money doing it, but it's paid off in other avenues. It's helped my acting. No, I didn't do nothing! I'm doing this! Why didn't you do this? You know, things have been progressing, but it's just time to go. I'm just done. Wrestling is the worst. Backstabbing. I mean, it's worse than acting. It's not worth it. Tonight's it. This is it. The, the people are going to get their last shot to spin on me, to boo me, to throw shiznit at me. And it's over. Man, swag don't go, man. Come on. You you made UPW, man. UPW is the swag. Yeah, he needs to get out of here. We had enough of him. You know, who cares about swag? It's about us tonight. But to me, he's one of the most talented people in the professional wrestling business. He needs to go back to Monster Garage. Well, I found out tonight that Swag is going to be retiring from wrestling, which makes me very sad for a personal reason because he's the one who got me involved in wrestling. He signed me up. He gave me my opportunity. I talked to him. I said I wanted to be a pro wrestler. I was a 14-year-old kid. He let me come down and train, and uh, so I owe him my, my career. I owe him everything. So, Swag, we're going to miss you, and uh, I hope I don't get too emotional tonight. All right, man. I'll see you guys inside. All right. Definitely. The, the big swag is one of those where you've definitely got to remember to distinguish the gimmick from the man because a lot of people in wrestling who are heels, a lot of people have the perception that that's the way they are in real life, that they're just an ass in reality. Hey, shut up! Come on, Pierce! Get your own business! Get your own business, baby! El Jefe and myself, we're both managers in the pro wrestling business, so it kind of gives us like a little solidarity. I mean, we're the ones that actually make the match, you know what I'm saying? These guys, some of these guys are idiots, man. They don't even know how to read or write. <laughs> brains, it takes, that's what it takes, it's brains. Swag, everybody knows he has a big brain. Jefe, same thing. The best thing ever happened to wrestling is <laughs> the death of Shrek. This is it. The, the people are going to get their last shot to spin on me, to boo me, to throw shiznit at me, and it's over. <laughs>